My name is Ihab Al-Sharafa. I am the managing partner at Arabia Weather. Arabia Weather started about 10 years ago as a small company out of Jordan, providing internet-based weather services to the Jordanian community. And today it grew to the leading provider of weather services in the Arab world. Uh, we provide industries and consumers that are deeply impacted by weather with weather solutions that helps them in their day-to-day -day lives. Today, the company operates multiple divisions. The first division is our consumer division, where we provide services to consumers through our mobile application and our website. We also provide solutions to the enterprise uh, industry. We provide it to media, to sky, land, and sea-based industries. These industries are deeply impacted by weather, and uh, they use our weather solutions as a decision support solutions in their operations. At Arabia Weather, we've launched our enterprise division in 2015. Uh, we started an office in Dubai, and 2015 was really all about establishing the product, establishing the sales collateral, testing the product, and getting ready to go to market. In 2016, we launched our products in media, in sky, land, and sea-based industries, and we've tested that market. And we were able to hit gold in all of these markets that we pursued. We were able to, an to land anchor tenants or clients in these markets. In, in media, we landed Al Jazeera, we landed NBC. In the sky, we've landed a number of airports and airlines. In the sea, we've done some uh, oil and gas companies and ship routing. And in land, we've been able to land some of the biggest municipalities in Saudi Arabia. Once we finished that in 2016, we had a decision to make in 2017. It was all about scaling at this point. Which market are we going to go after? Which market provides our shareholders with the largest return on investment? And which market do we want to focus on that has the lowest hanging fruit? And here was our journey in 2017 started. And we focused, while we maintained our presence in all of them, we really tried to focus on media, on consumer and on land-based industries, particularly in Saudi Arabia. And today, we are landing some of the largest contracts we have seen to date in those segments. At Arabia Weather, we could probably put our success in three categories, or due to three reasons. First and foremost, our strong value proposition. At Arabia Weather, our technology and the services that we provide as a, the only private weather company in the region has a very strong value proposition and a need across multiple industries. But most importantly, we could not deliver that value proposition without a very strong culture. Our CEO, Mohammed El Shakir, has instilled a very strong culture that was able to take on multiple challenges throughout the years. And these values that we have at Arabia Weather is passion for growth, courage to innovate, and spirited teamwork. Speaking of teamwork, we would be nowhere without our team. Our team was able to take on these challenges and turn them into opportunities. Today, the team is both accountable and empowered to deliver all their work and deliver across all these challenges to make Arabia Weather the success stories that it is today. When we think about 2018 and the years to come, where will the growth come from? At Arabia Weather, our foundation has always been our B2C customers, so the consumers that actually use our applications. But that opened up our B2B segment. Many of our B2B clients and leads has actually generated from our B2C platform, so they complement each other so well. And our B2B has provided a brand new blue ocean of revenue for us, as we are the only private weather company that operates in this region, and we provide truly differentiated services. Today, we can see the growth in Arabia weather coming from markets such as media, markets such as land. And when we talk about geographies, we look at Saudi Arabia as our next growth market in uh, our uh, growth plans. Um, those can be in public sector and it can be in private sector. Public sector, of course, are a number of ministries that operate at governmental levels that want our services, whether it's the Department of Health or Ministry of Health, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Interior, Ministry of Defense. They all require weather services that are critical to their operations and to the safety of their employees and constituents. We look at 2018 with uh, optimism and we feel that we're going to be targeting about 100 to 150 percent growth in that period. At Arabia Weather, like any company, we face threats. And those threats at Arabia Weather comes down to two. One, is our newly 
generated presence in this region is something that the National Weather Services are not used to. And so when we came in this market, we needed to establish presence and we needed to introduce ourselves both to the market and to the providers that provide these services at the National Weather Services. After a while, we were able to develop partnerships with the National Weather Services. That started in Jordan, and now it's trickling down throughout the industries. That, of course, is the global model, and that is how we turn this threat into an opportunity. Through this partnership, we can actually take the potatoes that they make and turn it into French fries and deliver it to the constituents across uh, their geographies, help them serve their citizens and through a partnership that recognized them as the provider of the core weather data and as us for the productization of that data. And the second challenge, of course, that always exists for every weather company is weather itself. Good weather is bad for business. Mm -hmm.